hello hello it's me brandy doing it differently all month because i'll be gone so um this is for aries and libra because you guys are literally in the straight across from each other on the uh house wheel okay a lot of commonalities and not commonalities but anyways this is for October 7th all the way through the rest of October for Aries and Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit. Aries and Libra. Oh. The Bodacious Bodoc. Now, I don't have, like, the actual meaning, so these are kind of intuitive. But, I mean, look at his his like ready to pounce uh the colors are malicious and gray very sneaky very mischievous like waiting in the bushes for their their opportunity to strike someone with malicious intent that's a malicious intent gaze like Dobby in the Lord of the Rings ring. <laughs> Malicious intent. Let's see what else is going on here. There is Libra, the singer of initiation. I am going to pull another one here. And to me, this uh, automatically I'm looking at it, it's like all the planets aligning and the new moon and feminine energy because it looks like legs to me with a uterus area okay and like hands cupping the universal energy and the guardian of the gate is on the top okay so while there is all this uh the dark ladies underneath okay Someone, someone is dealing with a very, well, I mean, this could even be a nosy neighbor, like, thinking what they want to think that's going on in your life. This could be a boss waiting to get anything on you because they have such a shit energy. And it's like, you don't need to worry. This person's behavior, rather, however you want to come across with this, your neighbor, your boss, your lover, um, like, just not a great, we're just not a great person, okay, I don't care how you're dealing with that, it's not a, it's not a great person. You already have a guardian. This is a guardian, literally, like, putting... A cascade of protection and light around you and while the chaos is going on this person is definitely trying to get anything and be malicious protected okay uh, could be a grandmother passed on a mother passed on just because of the the femininity that I'm picking up of that the initiation like this person being malicious is initiating some primal protection or something like that and it's like you're right at the gate you're right at the door the dark lady now the dark lady to me is like the dark feminine and stuff like that and uh, majestic but also a crone okay also a crone the topsy turvets exactly this person is trying to throw your life into chaos okay trying to throw it completely upside down and that's our intent but look at this oh this is beautiful I don't mean to keep going here but just the way that these are coming out and like projecting themselves this is um Liz of the shadows by the way, I'm Brandy. I'm a shadow worker in a spiritual mirror on a normal basis. You can go to Tori and I.com. But look at this. She is taking her light and struggling but going through the shadows. She's pushing her way no matter how much darkness this person, and it is a person, 
is trying to project or trying to convey. You know what I mean? Trying to unravel your life. One more spirit. Uh, I don't know what that means. What I can't read that. The self, something the self. Maybe someone who who has these cards can. Uh, but this is almost like she's bowing and taking a rest and looking over at the enemy like you've not won. I'm not down. I'm not down. I have a lot of fight in me. I have a lot of fight in me. I have people on my side. Tons of fight left in me. Amen, my friend. Amen. Abby. Let's see. Aries and Libra. Let's get more about this. About this situation, shall we? Aries and Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's a lot of light in the dark that someone else is trying to create. Almost like they're trying to turn their behaviors around and project them onto you to the rest of the community to the co-workers to the organization rumor mill trying to turn friends against you trying to turn community against you but you have friends you have real friends that are actually going to be there and back you up here's more darkness Okay, uh, the 12th house escape, placing blame, illusion, really dangerous deceptions. I'm. Uh, it's almost like they don't want you to have any allies. They want you to have absolutely no support. And so I'm saying, may feel real dark right now, folks. Like you just can't, but you need to remember that you've been in worse. Someone's can get you before, you know, if this is the first time in a relationship and you've been in the situation, you just need to look at like facts and keep going from there. You know, look at that. Oh my God. Neptune, deceiving energy, turning friends. Uh, and it's like friends as enemies, enemies as friends. Like, keep them close. Uh, not knowing who to trust right now. Maybe shouldn't anyone. I mean, yeah, you know who your real friends are. But this just feels, nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Stability. Okay. Earth. That's Earth. Stability. Yep. Taurus. Stability. Cancer. Phil can't release a grudge and keeps trying to... Take your stability and your good standing away from you, your good work ethic away from you, and you feel lost. I can tell. Someone definitely feels lost with whatever situation is going on here. But by you using your light to cut through the dark, no matter how much the dark has been thrown at you, it's initiating the next level, the next step, like of you being conquering. Conquering, my friend, conquering. Yeah, someone just can't seem to let something go. Very compulsive about it. He keeps creating certain scenario stories in their head about you or to other people. And as long as you don't cave in to that pressure, which I'm speaking to myself as well, like people are going to see it's not true. Like just by you doing you, people are going to see it's not true. Don't give in. Um, uh, if that's a partner, you know, whatever. And like I said, their energy has always been that way. So the light will shine, outshine the dark. They have to hide in the corners because they have to prepare themselves for what lies they're going to spring out of their mouth. I think, I can never tell if this deck, if this is the page or the knight of pentacles. But you get my drift. I think it's all the same. You know, it's an offer. It's slow, but it's coming. It's stable. I mean, on a generic basis. Like, you are stable. Right? The Ace of Cups. I know the glare, guys. I'm sorry. The Six of Cups. Like, uh, to me right now, that's like friends and people who really know you. This person just wants... 
just wants to fight to fight. They're, they're so used to the chaos and manipulation. The uh, Queen of Pentacles, that's kind of representing uh, you right now, Aries and Libra. Yeah, breaking free of that. That's literally moving or getting out of that job, getting away from that relationship. You will have the funding, the support, the backup, new offers, all of this coming soon. Yeah, I want to say very soon. And okay, so we have the chariot and the lovers. So Cancer is here, Gemini is here, Taurus is here. Where did that card go? Um, Seven of Cups. Yeah, they're just trying to, they're trying like the circus, okay? And you are confused as well with that, but it's not going to, six weeks. Like, it's not going to go longer than a little over a month uh, of a timeline of this chaos. Like, it's going it's going to end like so you don't need to be caving into that deception or being kind of like caught off guard by, by their behavior is what I'm getting yeah the hermit okay because you have spiritual guidance you already have the knowledge of people's behavior like this it just irks you probably like you're trying to show that you're not what they say um, but I think that's just, it's going to kind of hurt you worse, right? It's just making you feel like you have nowhere to turn. But here is the world. will be breaking out of that energy. You will be breaking out of that energy because they have always been this way. And I think the smart people that matter, organizations that matter, higher ups that matter, your friends know you, you know what I mean? They're not going to, the real people are going to know better. They're going to look at your skill set. They're going to look at your patterns, right? This person's trying to ruin your credibility, your confidence. So you stop being you, stop speaking out, stop working hard, stop uh, believing in your work ethic. I mean, there's so much here. It's like transition and changes are coming. They're giving you an out. You're definitely getting an out. And this is, there's something of a movement. Like, so you're going to be moving out of your partner's house or you are going to be moving jobs. Yeah. And it's like, you need to stand your ground with these people, but not on their level. You need to, you know, it's like, don't compete. Do it in a legal sense. Do it in a smart way. Don't sink to their level. These are said and done sometimes in the middle of that. I get it. Almost got shot in the face last night of someone trying to shoot an animal while I was feeding their animals because they don't feed them. And uh, old me wanted to, well, we'll leave it at that. Nothing was done, by the way. I've reached out to several animal advocacy places. Okay. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Eat your fucking vegetables. <laughs> you need some fucking yoga in your life because ancient shit is cool. Like, re ground yourself is what I'm taking from that. And you need a big fucking hug. Right? Your friends, your family, people that you've been shut off from, people that made you feel good. Like, you need to ground and reconnect to remember. There's an issue. You're, you're right there. You're at the precipice of the change. Okay? All right, let's get Aries and Libra. Guidance for the rest of October 2022. Make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, let me know if this resonated at all on any level. Cultivate love, effervescent. And underneath that is hex. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. I have not been doing that but it stood out to me and underneath that's a liberation of freeing oneself okay it's like um the skull and stuff like that but this is interesting there's an enemy there is an enemy number five 
this book is backwards because the pages that's why I don't use it often okay they're dark anyways and I know this light sucks okay love is budding blooming and blossoming around you the energy of new love helps all things grow not just relationships but the potential for love is limitless all blocks and obstacles are lifting and the way ahead is clear be confident optimistic and joyful if you have drawn this card at a time you're feeling lonely or disillusioned, it's a sign to cultivate love in other areas in order to infuse the arid part of your life with nourishing passion. The more love and joy you can feel in pursuits and ex aspects, the more the energy will flow into the areas that you feel are lacking. Uh, this is contemplating the beauty of her life. The white dress denotes purity and simplicity and helps. It's him dipped in violet, which confers spiritual enlightenment senses the sweet energy of love and optimism bubbling up and blooming the green hue of spring and newness form a halo of light around her and she is growing so that'll end in more stability around spring whatever spring is for you and it's like don't interact because they will show their face like i said they're waiting to leap out like they got an aha moment <laughs> they don't <laughs> i'll catch you later